This video is going to help serve as a tutorial for the button maker base plate as we go through and look to continue on with activity 5.5a and looking up here on my screen we can go through and utilize some features that we've already learned to hopefully make the modeling of this part a little bit quicker and a little bit easier on us as we go through and take a look. First thing that I noticed looking at the dimension drawings is that we need to take a look at making our base plate itself before we start putting in any of the other features like the holes and also the fillets on the corners. So first thing I'll go through and I'll take a look at this base plate is 11 inches wide by 4 inches tall so I'll go through and start creating that sketch off of the XY plane. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and go through and draw it to be and dimension it 11 inches wide by 4 inches tall. When I finish the sketch I will go through and kind of finish out with the 2, 2D side of our part. When I take a look our extrusion is going to be 0.5 so I'll go through and put in a 0.5 extrusion and click OK. From here I'm going to show you there are ways without utilizing uh, the points to create holes on this part and there are ways also to go through and do, use some of the other features. So once we have a 2D feature or, uh, created into 3D model that we can edit, now we can go through and take a look at some of the other things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the fillet option. So let's round the corners and off of our print we had a 0.5 radius for the rounds so then I'm going to go around and I'm going to click on the corners of my part to go through and to start looking at applying the radius on the edges. So I'm going to kind of go around there to each one of the four corners and round this plate. Okay, so at this point I will want to go through and I'm going to take a look at this particular option as well and for this I'm going to move to a kind of a split screen mode so I'm going to kind of click and drag and set this part here so that way I can kind of take a look at you can do the same thing on your computer so on your desktop computers as you guys work and I'm going to use this so that way I can look at the drawing and also take a look at some of the features so first thing I'm going to take a look at is I want to start off with the counterboard holes that are show up on each end of this part and as I take a look there's a hole note so it says it's a quarter inch through hole with a countersink diameter of 0.5 and it's at 80 degrees and it says X2 which means there's two of them. There's one here and there's one there. So anytime you see that X2 it means it's times two and rather than having to put it in both places they just, they just write the note one time and have it there. So on here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the hole option. So before we had to go through and we had to utilize, we used points to set our options. But here you can also do it in linear placement. So I'm going to click on the front edge of my base plate and it sets it wherever I click but here's what I want to do I'm gonna take up the reference point so I'm gonna click on this reference line you'll notice it has an arrow drawn there so it's 1.946 away which really we want it to be set at right on to be two inches which is where our print shows so I'm gonna put in two and I'm gonna click make sure to click in this box first put two in I don't want to hit enter all I want to do is just put the number in because if enter this will close out the dialog box and then the other option is too is that from the left side it's 0.4375 away so I'm going to choose the second reference choose this edge and set this to be 0.4375 so again I don't want to hit enter I just want to go through and put the numbers in as far as looking at the hole it's going to be a countersink hole so I'll choose countersink here at the bottom it's got a, the countersink, the top part of the head is 0 0.5 at 82 degrees. It's all the way through the part, so I'll change the termination through all. And then it's going to have a 0.25 inch diameter through, which is what we want. And that's kind of all that we're taking a look at. So once I go through and have it, I'll click OK. And it goes through and sets in my hole. So I could do the same thing on the other side utilizing the same methods or to make this a little bit easier I can always go through and use a rectangular pattern so which is what I'm going to use so I'm going to choose my features so I'm going to rectangular pattern my hole that I just went through and put in and then for direction one I will go through I'm just going to do one direction so it's patterning off to the left right now I'm going to flip the direction 
and then right now this is where it's placing the hole. It's placing it one inch away. Well, when I take a look, if I go through and put in 11 inches as far as my as far as how far away it is on my part, you'll notice that you go through and here on my screen, you go through and you end up getting the hole gives outside of the part. Well, you got to take into account, you know, how much further that 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 hole is away. So here's what I'm going to do. 11 inches. I'm going to do some use inventor to do some simple math minus 0 0.4375. So that gets me closer in on the part, which is how far it is away from the edge. And then but I also have to take into care of to take into account how much how far is it from this edge as well. So I'm going to do minus 0 0.4375 again and now it will go through and match it up and put it in the same position as it is on this side and matches up to what I have on the print. I'm just going to go through, I'm not worried about direction 2 because it's right in line with the, with what I had set before so I'm just going to click OK and now I've got two countersink holes that show up on my part. Okay. Likewise same scenario I'm going to go through and I'm going to create another hole and the two holes here in the middle I'm going to have point, a diameter of 0 0.3125, two of those spaced away. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to set in a linear dimension there. Again, set in my reference from the top edge. This is going to be two inches once more. And then from the second edge, this is going to be 1.5 away there as I put that in. So 1.5 away from the edge of the part, as noted by the drawing. So it's, this is just going to be a simple through hole, so I'll go through and just click the top option, and it'll have a dimension of 0.3125, so a little bit larger than the default that we had set. I'll go through, I'll click OK. I'm going to rectangular pattern this option one more time, so choosing this hole, and then for the direction, same process as what I did before, I'll flip the direction, and this time it looks like that from the left edge, this hole shows up to be 5.5 away. So if I go through and take a look at that, so 5.5, but I'm going to subtract away 1.5 from that as well to appropriately locate how far it is away from, because I'm using my feature there as the existing reference point. So spacing in there goes through and, and works out now and should be appropriate and looks to where it, where it should be from my print and on my base plate. I'll click OK and there we'll go through and set in my my holes on the top. The only thing I have left is I will turn turn this part over and take a look at the bottom of the part and I will go through and create a new sketch on the back on the bottom part of this. As I take a look um, you know here they really don't give me placement wise of where these four holes will show up there are four tapped holes, but I can go through and safely see that they're right in on the same uh, radius point as what they are from the fillets on each edge. So I'm going to project the geometry of this entire shape. When I do that, I'm going to go through and I'm going to get these dots that show up, and this is where our points are going to show up. I'm only going to put one point in there on one of the positions. Click OK. Say Finish Sketch. And then I will go through and take a look at creating a hole. So my point will get automatically picked up. I'm going to change to a tapped hole down here at the bottom. So, and then as far as my size goes, they say 832 UNC. So a lot of times they don't give you a diameter. It doesn't mean it's got an 8 inch diameter, it means there's some designation. So if I scroll up here to the top, you'll notice it'll say, I'll have, have some different dimension numbers, but also it has in parentheses number one, two, three, four, and then here's a number eight. So when I click on number eight, here's the designation, 832 UNC, which matches what's on the print, and that's exactly what we want. The It's drilled down to a diameter of 0.2875, and there are four of them. So instead of through all, I'm just going to say distance, and that will be at 0.2875 and we go through and have our threads to be used there. I'll say OK. Here's one hole that was created and then I go through and I'm going to take a look at seeing what's the what's the way to rectangular pattern this. So utilizing the rectangular pattern I will choose that hole that I just created and then 
using direction one, I will go across. So it will be it will be 11 inches. Again, looking at my looking at where it is, it's off of the part. So I can go through and say minus 0.5. We had a point minus 0.5 radius. We're still not on there. We got to take into account one more 0.5 minus 0 0.5 again. And now we can see that it goes through and appropriately places the part. So Inventor can go through and do this, causing some simple math and without having to go through and us having to do it on a calculator or anything like that. For direction two, I am going to do a direction two on this one. Choose the side here for the spacing. So the entire height of this block was four inches. Same sort of scenario. I have to take into account minus 0.05 and minus 0.5 there as well. So then that way you will go through and see we have all the uh, those appropriately placed. I'll click OK and then this will go through and finish out our rect our base plate for our button maker. So this will go through and uh, serve as maybe even a um, part model that would we would go through and create in the future.